Well, thank you for your patience, DOG. Uh, we got one politician and uh, 10 o'clock, I guess they came in early. Okay, this is the scoop. This is what's going on. Uh, after thinking about it, we know Mr. Higgs. Mr. Higgs is a person. There. Let me put it here. Mr. Higgs is a person that takes for himself, you know, is either my way or the highway. And when he won with a minority, yeah, let's see if this could be, this could work out. For an example, he worked for Irving, at the Irving Refinery, went against the union, and really, really, the union was sort of like a, a pest, a pest that had to be eliminated. And you know what? That's exactly what the Irvings and management did. Larry Washburn, uh, Washburn, God bless his soul, dead now. He tried to run for the NDP in St. John once. Uh, if I cut off with some politician, I'm sorry, we're just going to keep on going. But anyway, so um, then they had this uh, yesterday. What's her name from the CCNB, Lois or whatever. Anyway, so you turn around. Who is that? So what's happening is very, very simple. Uh, from the CCNB, conservative, who's called on? Anyway, have another coffee. You following me, uh, DOG? What's gonna happen? She announced, sorry, I'm, okay, there's a car coming, maybe it's a politician, hold on. So, what's happening is this. The, uh, they put her, the director of the CCNB put her in an ad that will announce that how the conservatives are nice people, they're going to preserve 10% of the forest in New Brunswick. That's from 4.5 to 10% or 3.5 to 10%. Everybody, all oh, right, Mike Holden announced that last night. Now everybody's thinking and saying, uh-oh, I talk about Crystal Men. He's out of jail. So anyway, so they announced 10% to save our, our forest. A lot of distraction there, I'm sorry. Rock. So anyway, they uh, said, Crystal Men. So what's happening? That's the catch. So they're gonna announce that they, uh, oh, we're good, uh, we protect the forest. And, oh, they took her and put her in the net how the conservative how they help preserve the forest in New Brunswick. Bullshit! They're clear cutting. It's, I mean, anybody that doesn't travel will say, well, uh, no, it's, uh, it's uh, you know, we, uh, what's it called again? They, they really study where they clear cut and they educate and blah, blah, blah. It's not that bad. You see the log trucks coming out the north. Oh my God, it's terrible. And the flooding, it's gonna be a huge flood in 2020. Okay, so this is what's gonna happen. Uh, there's a minority government in, in, in Ottawa. Um, Hayes has failed to promote, uh, what's his name again? Shear. Shear should have never been the leader in the first place. And Shear is the opposition. So Hayes has to work with Trudeau. He can't work with Trudeau. Higgs likes to have his own way, and now with a minority government, this is the perfect storm to call an election. And there's an election that's gonna be called soon. I said that last night, because Kevin, bang, bang, Vickers, doesn't know dick all about politics. And the Green Party, well, they had to work on the candidate that they helped elect, that was all right. Then the People Alliance seemed to have some problems the last 24 hours, but that's the reason I'm here. So, uh, the NDP, what's that? So, what's gonna happen is simple. There's an election that's gonna be called because it's, it's right November. Listen. What do you got going Listen. here? Listen, yeah, yeah, really. Listen. Turn, turn that thing There's off. There's an election that's gonna be called. An election when? Why would they preserve 10% of the land? 
Pardon me, uh, Why would the conservative Higgs announce that they're going to have 10 10% of the forest saved? And all the clear cutting. You, you're from Badgers. You I know heard that on the radio this morning with uh, Mike Holland. Yeah. yeah. So what's that all about? There got to be a catch. I don't know. They want to. Uh, I have all I heard was on CBC. Um, they got to be an election. Are you going to reoffer? Never know. Again? For the what? For the tenth time? Yeah. Ten. <laughs> ten time? Yeah, yeah. It's all right. Ten time. My tenth. Ten Your time. leader. Kevin Bang Bang Vickers, what does he know about politics anyway? It's been around for a while. Been a while. Knows just as much as you, Charlie. Oh, you're trying to, oh, you're staring at you think I don't know much? Of course not, I'm a blogger, I don't know dick all. Okay, Ryan Kennedy, batters, liberal. So there's an election, that'd be a good idea, just to stay here, put the goddamn camera on top, they gotta stop. And so, I gotta keep this on, what the hell? How come he's late anyway? Kevin. Bang bang! Vickers. Don't even want to uh, have pain in the ass bloggers to interview him. But there's an election gonna be called. I'm gonna keep this on. You wanna watch this? If, you don't, if you're still watching this, get a life. It's interesting because it's November, no snow, not too cold, not too warm. It's not November now, next week. Perfect time for an election. Perfect. And you know, people can still go door to door. So tell me. Have you been to Papano Fall? In the Falls, yes. Who's the MLA in that area? Uh, Is it Dindy Laundry? Yeah. Almost, yeah, I know. Almost wrecked the goddamn car going down the the little driveway there. They should fix it. So tell me. You're lucky I don't have the camera right there between the cars. I'm, I'm, I'm allowing you some privacy. Oh, good boy. Oh, good boy. Take a long time here. What's the dog's name? Doggy. He don't like liberals. So you better watch. <laughs> uh, so what does this your, what experience does your uh, great leader have? He's got a lot of experience. Doing what? World experience. He was sergeant what? at arms in the, in Parliament Hill for a number of years. He headed up the RCMP right across the can right across Canada. He's distinguished. He's uh, a good fellow and he's very smart. So, uh, he's got tons of experience. And not one of those experiences you mentioned had to do with New Brunswick, to run the province. It's been all over the country, all over the world. New Brunswick, New Brunswick. He knows New Brunswick, born and raised here. New Brunswick, New Brunswick. Issues yeah. in New Brunswick. What he knows he know the issues. issues, he's kn knowing the issues, and uh, he's touring the province, so, meeting people one by one. One by one. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that's going to do it? He avoids media, so... Uh, avoids why? media? He doesn't avoid media at all. Oh yeah, he avoids me. Well... <laughs> I'd avoid you too. He, yeah. he may be smarter than I am. That's right, Barry. <laughs> no, you could run, but you can't hide. You know, yeah, just yeah, check go the ahead. Mic. Yeah, you want to check? This is light and mirror. Okay. Working good. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, there, no problem. There, you're all happy. Well, I'm a little bit crooked yeah. here, but so, anyway. Uh, so, the, the Liberals are ready for an election? Pardon me? Liberals are ready for an election? 
We're always re ready. You know, there's an election going to be called soon. Why would she, why would they announce they're saving 10% of the problems? Why? Of the force? I don't know. Mike uh, Holland seems to be uh, for conservation and uh, I haven't had a chance to talk to him yet, but that's what I heard on the radio this morning coming. Uh, you're uh, supporting him. I never said I was you're supporting talking, him. You're talking that you support him. Oh yeah, Mike Holland. Mike Holland is actually, I like Mike Holland. Oh, hey, yeah. every, every asshole, I mean, every politician, so you have to be nice. Like you, you know, you're a redhead, don't, don't hit me. But the bottom line, there's an election. Right this morning. Yeah. So there's an election, they're going to be called, and your great leader, Kevin Bang Bang Vickers, he's going to come out with the policies. Uh, I, um, I don't know what you're talking about, Charlie. Does he know how to debate? He never... Yes, joined. he knows how to debate. What do you mean? He never... The leadership, the Liberals, there was, only, there was no leadership convention. Do not underestimate Kevin Vickers. Why, is he going to shoot me? He would never hurt a good, honest fellow like you, Charlie. Did you see in, in Ireland what he did with a protester? He grabbed that protester. Don't mess with him. I know. That's what, it, that, that's what scares me. <laughs> nice to see you again. You can't go that way, it's closed. You gotta go this way. So that's the way it is. And we'll see what's gonna happen. Okay, how long? Too long. 